What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. We're getting ready for a warehouse sale. So if you haven't seen a lot of videos, if I haven't been doing the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday format, um, this is why I'm busy with this. I don't know if I'll be sticking to the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday format throughout the time, by the time this video is up. But um, anyways, now the next three videos, you're gonna see the warehouse sale. This one is the setup video. So let me show you what it looks like so far. It is a mess in here. So over here, Tim's working on special buy items. Uh, what he's doing is he's testing them and marking on here. In this case, it's new, uh, power tested, and 100% complete. And this one, it's new, never open. Uh, let's take a look. How about this one? Used, good condition, fully functional, and complete, but missing instructions. And then we've got spots on the bottom. Uh, looks like he wrote a note here. Uh, slight damage on top. Uh, so it's fully functional. It's new. Uh, it's 100% complete. Um, other slight damage on top. He probably should have put uh, cosmetic condition other. If it's new but has some damage, maybe the box got damaged or something. Anyways, so he's working on that. There's still this to go, but there's a lot of stuff here that's going in the special buy area. Over here, oh, squeeze through. These came from the Hamilton Beach Palace. These are the bigger items that are going to the special buy area. He also tested this stuff here. Um, over here, this is gonna be like more consumables. Um, we've got stuff over here, baby formula, um, fish oil, greens power. We have a whole bunch of this and it's actually decent on Amazon. You get about, I wanna say like 12 or 13 bucks after fees. That's good for quite a while, one of, one of 24. And I was gonna wholesale it at five bucks each to somebody who sells on Amazon, but we sell them 10 bucks, seven, six. We pretty much stop stocking it after $5 a day. So I get a little bit more that way and we just have it in every sale. Uh, so all different stuff over here. We've got Pottery Barn in this sale. Some of it's set up here. Uh, these are not from Pottery Barn. These are from Kohl's and these are from, I don't know, who knows where. Um, they actually came out of my grandma's house we we're just gonna donate them because they're not really worth a whole lot. Uh, no, no good way to sell them. So I figured I'd throw them in the sale since they're new. Uh, jeans over here. These are new fixtures. So a woodworking store just went out of business uh, like right next door from us. And the owner retired and I bought some fixtures. And I think these are gr a great addition for the sale uh, for bins to put stuff. So what we're gonna do is underwear in these two, socks and underwear in these two, possibly that one as well. This is just like clothes and linens and stuff that are small and don't really go well on a table. Uh, this is gonna be these blaze orange sweatshirts. I've got another box full of them somewhere. Uh, bags of diapers and that type of stuff. Handbags, lunch boxes, wallets, stuff like that. These are like plush zip up backpack things. And now these, the business didn't actually buy it. These are mine. Also bought from that woodworking store that closed. They were, this was their Craig tools, if you're familiar with woodworking. There were big LED, not LED, but big lit signs across the top with lights that also shine down in them. I don't have any pictures to show you what they look like, uh, but I'm gonna put these in my garage for my tools. It's nice because these are metal, metal pegboards, so it'll hold a lot more weight. So that's the plan for these. But until then, they're being stored here. I still have some, remodeling to do in my garage before these can go in. And I thought they would be great for the sale. They don't look pretty right now because I just kind of slapped them up together. Um, this one, 
the pegboard is a little off. You can see I'm one notch too high on there. And by the time I realized it, it wasn't worth taking it all apart to fix it. Uh, but these two and those two are slightly different in how they're made. You can see two panels as opposed to, I don't know, five or six panels. Little difference in these as well. But they look pretty uniform when they're all put up. So I'm gonna fill this up with shoes and then at the bottom I've got bags and some Halloween stuff over here. Uh, some socks, belts and whatnot. We've got clothes here. This is Hamilton Beach stuff. So what I decided on this, my cost is very low on this stuff. Uh, depending on the palette, I'm between $1.90 and $2.40 per unit. So I'm just putting them out at whatever the day's price is. They're going to be untested. I'm going to have signs up here saying they're untested. And if it doesn't work, you can bring it back to exchange it for a working one during the sale. I think a lot of this stuff is going to go on $10 day. Um, especially like these aren't super expensive. These irons aren't super expensive. Uh, but like these food processors are like 36 bucks. These mixers, the breakfast makers, some of this stuff is quite a bit more expensive. I think a lot of this stuff is going to fly and I've got another pallet and a half of this. This is, this is probably about one full pallet. If you factor the stuff that I have over there for the special buy, it came off of two pallets, but then there's still some back stock of these that I'm more deep in, in the back. So those are going to do pretty well, I think. Um, and even if this stuff, if we don't sell a single one until $5 day, and then we sell them all on $5 day, I still double my money. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's see over here. We've got this back row of tables. It's going to be home, home Depot stuff. So all different stuff over here. This run of tables is going to be bedding. I've got a ton of bedding here that came from Dollar General. And then I've got a whole bunch of bear bedding, which is going to fill this the rest of the way up. Um, that needs to come out yet. Over here, we've got exercise stuff, workout stuff, kettlebells, weights. These five-pound dumbbells, the three pounds, they're probably not going to sell on $10 a day. Typically, it's about a buck or a buck fifty per pound is the going rate. So the 10-pound kettlebells, the 15-pounders, those will definitely sell. Uh, these 10-pound plates will probably sell. The two and a half five pound plates and the five pound kettlebells, probably not, maybe, you never know. And a whole bunch of other stuff up here. We've got toys. Most of this came out of Dollar General and Walgreens. All sorts of stuff, as well as some diapers down below and whatnot. Over here, we've got these Halloween cat scratchers. I believe these came off that Target case pack load that I bought before the last sale. As well as some other Halloween stuff like this. Um, this is our last sale before Halloween. If you're watching this in the future, it is currently September 9th. Our sale is going to be September 5th through the 15th. Or I'm sorry, September 15th through the 25th. But this is our last sale before Halloween, so all of that type of stuff is going out. We've got some home decor type stuff over here. A lot of pottery barn. Like these are Pottery Barn, these mugs here, they're tw they're 30 bucks at Pottery Barn. So I think a lot of that's gonna do well. I think that's gonna draw people in. Over here, electronics. This is the, those truck stop pallets, the type of stuff in there. A lot, almost, let's see. From here over is entirely from the truck stop pallets and the sunglasses. Um, the, this is what's going out for $10 a day at least. I think a lot of this stuff is gonna do really well. Uh, then we've got some Dollar General over here, um, batteries and whatnot. And that is it, I believe. So I think this is going to be a good sale. We've got, so I've got, I mean, it's late in the day, maybe another hour I'll be here today setting up. Then I'm thinking I'm going to come in Sunday and do some work. And then we got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We are so overloaded on shoes right now. Every Dollar General load seems to give us way more shoes than we can sell. And what we would do is have a dump bin, similar to a cart like this, and just fill it up. And they'd get so, they're, the shoes aren't boxed. They're connected with like an elastic band and have a hook. They would have been hanging in the store. And they get all tangled up and nobody wants to dig through it. So I think they'll do better if we get them all on hooks hanging up like this. So that's the plan here. And we're probably going to do five bucks per pair starting from the beginning. Now let me show you the back. I missed a whole bunch of work over the past few weeks for medical issues. 
what I was dealing with. So, oh, here's some Disney Store Toy Story costumes. Um, so because of that, we are way behind. I've still got this Target palette here that you remember we went through on a video recently. These came out of Sam's Club. These were a late edition. I've got approximately five bucks each invested in these. These are a two pack, and then these are a 12 pack of uh, drinking glasses. They're acrylic ones, so they don't break. Um, they're about 20 bucks retail in the store each. My cost is about five each. I'm thinking I'm gonna call these a special buy item so I can leave them at 10 bucks a piece through the entire sale. I'm thinking that's the plan here. We've got Sterilite latching boxes. Most of those will probably be $10 a day. $10 stuff over here. Um, we've got the sink that came out of my bathroom that I need to run to the Habitat store. That's my goal. Over here, we've got these that came out of Sam's Club. I don't remember what I paid for this, like 400 bucks for the palette or so. A whole bunch of these, which will be a special buy. And I don't know if these are gonna sell this time around, um, but they're, I will try to put them out. They might sit until springtime. As well as these, these are light up pool candy. They're light up pool floats. Isn't that kind of neat? Um, these, I think I'm also at about five bucks each. Um, I wanna say the, these two palettes and then the other two Sam's ones that I showed you cost me like, 3,500 shipped, something like that. So probably about 1,000 each for those and 500 for this one. I think I'm gonna do pretty well on it. I'll put some of these out. I'm not gonna put the whole palette out and we'll just see how they do. Otherwise this will probably go up there after the sale. That's all Christmas, it's all toys that's coming down for the Christmas sale next. This nightmare over here is Dollar General mostly. You can see what happens when I'm gone for the better part of a few weeks. It just becomes a nightmare over here. Some of them we haven't really gone through yet. A lot of these are shoes. Those are the best type of shoes. Uh, this is apparel over here. What else? More Dollar General over here. This is Pottery Barn. This is just going on eBay. We've been selling a lot of Pottery Barn stuff on eBay. It's been doing really well. I believe these two are also Pottery Barn for eBay and that one. Those might just be empties stacked up. I'm not certain. Summer stuff. I hate when Tim does that. He just throws them up on the rack like that. He should be putting them on a pallet, and we can put the whole pallet up there. Um, so that, this is going to be a nightmare. Mind you, we open in a few days, and this is what we're looking at. Uh, these will be special buy. Uh, these, this pallet we're saving for Christmas. It's all these toys more denim this is how we did the shoes before and you can see a lot of these are loose they have the this elastic holding them together i'm just going to hang them by this these get so tangled up when you're digging through here apparel dollar general apparel does so well for us there's another pottery barn for ebay dollar general does so well for us with apparel so that i'm excited about um, most of this corner is socks and underwear uh, we're going to do just like previous sales, five bucks a piece or five bucks per unit, the entire sale. Um, this is going in the special buy area. It was in used condition when I got it, came on a pallet. And so I brought it home, mowed my lawn with it. I've got almost an identical one. I've got that's one step down from this um, and it works great. That's how I tested it. So sometimes a lot of people yell at me for, oh, all you did was pull the trigger to make sure it works. No, we test things under load too. I just only pull the trigger on videos so you can see it and you're not spending. It took me two hours to mow my lawn. You're not spending two hours watching me mow the lawn on a video. Nobody wants to watch that, especially the people who like to trash talk how I'm testing. They just like to be angry. This is all socks and underwear. Uh, I believe this is actually all socks. Um, no, spring, summer shoes. So this is probably gonna get wrapped and put up on the pallet rack. My bad. Um, here, I got a ton of these for free. Terracotta planters. Uh, there's this pallet and you see that super tall pallet over there. It's a double stack. All of the, And I think there's another one like that over there too that I got for free. Um, a buddy of mine has like a billion of them. So he just sent them to me. We'll put those in the sale. Um, a lot of this is like middle of the sale type stuff. This is all that Ryobi stuff that has some sort of significant issue. 
Um, everything else is fully functional. The only thing that hasn't been tested yet are these uh, six, four, five, six, seven uh, pressure washers. Everything else has been tested, and this is everything that has an issue, like a major issue. Yeah, if it's got a ding or a scratch, I don't consider that a major issue. These either don't work, or this thing he said is brand new, but the cord's cut off. They don't work. They're missing a significant amount of parts, like these pressure washers that are missing the handles, stuff like that. And these we're just gonna price really cheap and put out towards the end of the sale. I like to do it towards the end so it doesn't confuse people and people can't try and tag switch. That looks like a dirty word. Auc I think that was supposed to be auction. A lot of the um, Toys R Us, Toys R Us, a lot of the Target stuff said auction on it for some reason when we got it. That looked like a, like a bad word. Um, but anyway, so this stuff, most of it's probably going to be 15 to 25 bucks each um, when we sell it. But even though it's broken, it will still sell. We have more stuff back there. What about over here? That's all toys for Christmas. Uh, this is, those boxes are hand towels that will go out. But the rest of this is Christmas, mostly toys. Some of it's like hats and gloves and stuff, but it's mostly toys. This palette is plumbing. I'd like to get rid of this stuff in the sale. It's been here forever. Um, this is all Christmas. That, I want to say, is spring, like Easter and Mother's Day. Um, and then, I mean, I've got palettes like this that I haven't even gone through yet. I've mostly gone through this one. Books. I've got a book rack. We can see the library. Something exciting for stuff like this. I may be buying a beverage cooler. I'm going to look at one on Monday, um, which is literally right next door. The next building over, I spawned it on Facebook Marketplace. They happen to be selling it. And so these will be able to sell for quite a bit more. Instead of selling them for a dollar each, it's 12 bucks. I put the whole case out on $10 a day for 10 bucks. I'll probably get two bucks each for those. So that'd be 24 bucks. A um, whole bunch of like grocery and suave and stuff like that in here from CVS. I have not even touched these two pallets. Uh, that's all Walgreens, but it's going to be later in the sale. Special buy, truck stop, but we pulled out most of the, the better stuff. At least he told me he did. But if this is how it looks. Oh no, there's still a lot of $10 stuff in there. He just didn't, he pulled out enough so we have stuff out. I haven't touched this Hamilton Beach palette because this is pretty much duplicates of everything we have out there. This is all one skew, so I'm gonna grab like 20 of them or so and put them out. And this is back stock of what's already out there as well. Went through, I don't know, maybe a third of this one. Like I said, we are way behind. This is all special buy stuff. We've got these rugs here, four pallets of these special buy, which I'm selling all of them in this sale. I'm going to price them high, but I want to get rid of them because look how much space they take up. Uh, back here, what do we have? So this palette is sidewalk chalk. This palette is the wood shelves, but everything else going all the way back there is bare bedding. Wait, that's toys for Christmas, except for some reason bleach. All these Gaylords, which go all the way back there, there are 22 of them are bare bedding. These as well, but that counts towards the 22. Uh, is there one that I can show you? This is Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn blankets and pillows, so that's eBay. Here you can kind of see going down there. Uh, so there should be 22 of them. I can't really get up anywhere. Can I climb on this safely? Yeah, that'll be fine. Ugh. So, oh, that's helpful. You can, oh, sinking. You can really see what's going on here. So it's Bear Bedding. Bear is the brand name. The blankets, I'm not sure. Oh, I almost stepped in the hole between these two pallets. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the blankets, but there's sheets in here too. Smaller packages, this is just a fitted sheet, but this type of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna fill up those tables with that I said were gonna be bed sheets. So I realized how bad this place gets if I'm gone and I don't like it. So what I decided is after the sale is over, we are going to cease all non-essential operations for at least a week to get this place in order 
where it doesn't ever have to look like this again because this is a serious problem and it's stressing me out. I love organized chaos and I'm fine with that, but this is what I would call a nightmare. My organized chaos, most people would call that a nightmare. So we're gonna cease all non-essential business operations. Essential ones are like you know, answering the phones, shipping out eBay orders, things like that. But all non-essential business, I'm not bringing in any more product we're not going to list anything. We are doing nothing after the sale is over except essential operations and trying to get this place organized better. Just get a system in place so this doesn't happen again. You can't even get to this door. Okay, we don't use this door, but it is, needs to be uh, like open for a fire exit, and that is a serious problem that needs to be fixed. Also, the light switches are there. Um, I'm guessing they must have came, come in that door to turn on those lights and went back out this morning. Uh, but anyways, this is a serious problem. And I'm very thankful the fire marshal didn't see it because that is like, oh, this is how they did it. They cleared a path since I last saw it. Yeah, this is not acceptable at all. I'm, I'm pretty angry about that. But anyways, this is the type of stuff that we need to fix. My thought is you can see they used to have lines on here. I'm thinking we'll just put tape down, like a nice reflective tape that's meant to be on the floor, and the rule is nothing will be placed there under any circumstance, even temporary, nothing. Uh, but we need to figure out a better system so this doesn't happen, and that is what we are going to do. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to setting up these tables, and uh, I will pop in periodically until we're fully set up and show you the progress. So the Toys R Us shelves, if you're ever wondering why I call them that, that's because that's where they came from. I took this section out of the two shelves, and we're going to put these rugs here. This is the front shelf support of the two shelves that were on here. That was the back. It's serving no purpose. I just left it there. But I rose the back support there so we can put one of the bottom shelf supports here. That way these rugs won't fall out. The only problem is this side is in there pretty good. If this side takes a good hit, it'll slide right off of here. So we don't want to overfill it too much. Maybe if I shove this in here, it'll kind of at least help it a little bit, but we're not going to overfill it so much. The idea is that's probably not going to be, you know, neither of these are probably going to be needed. They're going to be up against this back corner. It's just in case a customer does something dumb and they all come toppling down, they're not going to hurt someone. On this side, there's actually going to be merchandise, pallets of merchandise here. So it'll land on the pallets instead of the person. This is the important one, and that's in there good. So I'm getting these priced for the special buy, $49.99. So these was a unique deal. They were coming out of Illinois, and it was a full truckload of them, and I didn't want a full truckload of them. Um, I think they came out to like 10 ish dollars each, something like that. I don't, I'd have to check my notes. But anyways... There's another store about an hour south of here that I know that wanted some, and another store several hours south of here that wanted some. So what I did is I had them all, I bought them, I had them all shipped up to the center store uh, an hour south of me, and then he shipped four pallets, they're double wide pallets, so four pallets up to me, and then four pallets down to the other guy, and I organized the shipping and sent semis for each one in front of the cost, and they just cut me a $2,000 check each uh, for their share, so I paid 2000 bucks for four pallets, which is roughly 144 They said there's a minimum of 36 units per pallet, if I remember right, um, and four pallets, that comes up to 144 as minimum, so there could be more. Uh, but I'm pricing them at 50 bucks each. They are indoor and outdoor rugs. They came from Aldi, I'm assuming, based on this. Um, Huntington Home is the brand. Um, the other two guys were selling them. No, our cost was 14 each. That's what it was. And the other two guys were paying or were selling them for 30 and 40 bucks and they could not keep them in stock. They flew out the door. So I was going to price them high. I decided to go with 50 just because I'd like to use this shelf space again. I want them all gone. They take up so much space. And I can't even, since they're double wide pallets sideways, I can't even move them throughout the building. So I need to load them onto here to move them around. So yeah, definitely want to get these out of here as soon as possible. They barely fit off the back of the truck. They're like the width of the truck, um, the semi-truck. So basically to unload them, what we did is we took them off the truck with a pallet jack 
and brought them to, I can't point that door. Then I grabbed them with the forklift, drove through the parking lot around the building to the back door to put them in because they wouldn't fit through, hold on. They wouldn't fit through pointing this door. It is really hard to point to things behind you when you're looking at a camera that's in reverse. So anyways, I can't wait till these are gone. I'm sure I'm gonna make decent money on them. This is just a huge pain. Here's how they were shipped. And you gotta grab the pallets by this side because you can't get in the ends. So they are a huge pain to try and move. So problem, this pallet of shoes, I'm gonna get hung up on here. And the problem is they don't have any way to hang up. I could have sworn these all had some sort of hanger on them. And this looks really ugly. I don't like that at all. These are what I need and the way it would work. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Oops. Uh, the way it would work is it would go in there. All right, I need two hands. So they would hang up like this. It would go into the shoes and they'd be hung up like this, which is much better than that. The problem is these are surprisingly very difficult to find. Uline doesn't have them. Amazon, which is where I bought most of my hangers, like large quantities designed for retail. The best I can find are like 10 or 12 of them. I think the idea is they're made for somebody who wants to hang their shoes in their closet. That type of thing. I cannot find like a pack of 100. And the packs of 10 are like 12 bucks. Or the packs of 12, they come up to like a dollar each. And I was about to bite the bullet. I went and put in an order. I spent like 300 bucks on about 300 of them, way more than I wanted. Definitely can't just send them off with the shoe because we're selling the shoes for like three to five bucks each. But we could always reuse them. But that was Amazon Prime, the only place I could find anything close to what I need. When you buy that type of quantity, it changes the shipping date to like October. We open in four days. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. If I bought one, a pack of 12, it would have got here Tuesday, which would have worked, but 12 is not going to do me any good. So I need, now I need to rethink what I'm going to do here. If I put shelves on here, I would only be able to get about four pairs per shelf, but four shelves, so I'd get about 16 pairs per section, and that's just not worth it to me. It's a terrible way to display them. I could put them in bins, but the problem is, is people are digging, this happens, and they get all tangled up. And then it ends up turning into big rat's nests. And then they just don't sell. That's why we have so many of them. Because when you can't grab the pair you want, they're just not going to sell. I could always cut these off and have them individually. But then you're going to find this one that you want and spend 45 minutes trying to find the second shoe that apparently doesn't exist because they like to disappear. So that's going to really change how we're going to display these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this section or with these shoes. I could always just save these shoes for the next sale. And um, yeah, I'm sure if I have more time to look and don't need it here in two days, I could probably find these cheaper um, and in volume. But I really don't wanna have all this set up and have to wait for the next sale. I can still use these the next sale because my garage isn't gonna be ready until next summer to put these in. So they're just gonna be stored here. Ah, oh, this is stressful. Even like these ones that look reasonably nice, give a customer, give the customers five minutes in here and they're just gonna be trashed anyways. We need something like this. Even this is gonna be pretty trash because people suck, but at least these will look reasonably nice for a reasonably decent amount of time. The best I can ask for. So if you have any ideas on how to display a large amount of shoes that don't have boxes without, like in an efficient way where we're getting more than four per shelf, please do let me know because shoes have always sucked. I hate shoes so much. They just, they don't move unless you display them nicely, but if you display them nicely, you can only fit a small amount and it's just not worth it. So it's been a couple hours. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm working here solo, it's because it's Sunday. Um, so I loaded up the bedding over here, all of this bear stuff. There's some weighted blankets down there. I got these for Christmas a couple years ago and they've been sitting in my basement I don't want them. So maybe we can get a couple bucks for them. And then the business will just buy them from me for whatever they sell for. Um, I decided what I'm gonna do here is just put the shelves up and we've got a whole bunch of Dollar General shoes, but they're in 
displays made for shelves. So I'm gonna put those up to fill these up. That'll be enough for this sale. All of these loose shoes, that pallet there, just gonna go back in the back and sit until the next sale um, when we think of a better solution. I'm sure that I can find some supplier for these at like a nickel a piece. So I'm just gonna wait on that for a future sale when I have more time, maybe I order them from China, who knows. Um, over here, special buy stuff is looking pretty good. Um, everything on the shelves here is now priced and in the system, as well as some other odds and ends. Um, some of the stuff I'm just stacking on the cart and bringing to the back because I don't want 40 air compressors here. I'm not worried about them not selling if there are too many. I'm just worried about, you know, I can put other stuff on the shelves. Um, instead of having two rows of air compressors, I can have air compressors and then mowers. Um, so it's basically all half retail. The Milwaukee stuff, I want a little bit more, uh, 380, 199 instead of 189. Um, 240, 140, or 230, 149. Uh, there's another thing. Oh, the KitchenAid, I priced high too. Uh, 450, 299, 99. Now, right now, Target has these on sale for 350. So we'll see if I get that. I feel like I probably could. And this is brand new, by the way. The box is damaged. And we actually opened it up. Remember I said I had a standing offer on this if you watched that video. Well, that fell through. He decided he didn't want it. Um, so I'm actually pricing it higher now. But we opened the box. We tested it. We looked over. No scratches or anything. It's got the tag here. I don't know why Tim insists on putting these on the side of the box. We're not going to have this, the displayed front. You don't know what it is. Uh, so anyways... I moved some of them to the front, some I just didn't bother. Um, brand new, flawless. Uh, this came on the Hamilton Beach palette. It's never been opened, so I put it over here, 25 bucks. These four items were left over from the last sale, so I just left them in the system and maybe they'll sell. That item, I think I put out on bag day, and this, one of the last couple of days, so we'll see if they go. Those were out for a while, but I did drop the prices on them in the last sale like the last day or so. These, for those of you who've been following for a while, I used to have a store called Wisconsin Overstock Outlet, and I bought these myself from that store, thinking, oh, when I buy a house, I will use these. Well, I bought a house, and the, this color does not match at all. So I'm going to sell them here, and then again, I will just pay myself. I'll buy them for myself whatever, for whatever they sell for. Uh, rugs, I put a couple of the small ones in here, and then this came on that Target palette. I think these are going to do pretty well. This display looks pretty nice. I don't want to put any more tool stuff on the shelves. There's still some to go, but otherwise the whole thing will be tools. So this end here will be non-tool stuff. Um, some of the tools, so our special buy stuff, will have this area here to you know, put some of it on the floor. Along here is going to be pallets. Um, I've got a pallet of cups, pallet of different type of cup um palette of tables and what was the other palette oh some large toy thing um and those will all be special buy so basically we have this little section here and this section here once it's cleaned out for special buy and that's it a lot of this is pottery bar and stuff that's destined to go special buy but it's probably not going to make it out there when we first open although there is a couple of things for instance, this suitcase, Harry Potter suitcase. This will definitely go out, and I'm just gonna take it out of the plastic. It was 200 retail. I'm probably gonna price it at 150 and just not note what retail is. So we'll see how that goes. Um, or maybe I'll just put 200 as retail. It's at 150 just because it is Pottery Barn. But there's a whole bunch of Pottery Barn stuff here that'll be special buy. Uh, going down the tables, toys basically full. Could put a couple of things here yet, and then I can condense a little bit and fit in more. Uh, fitness is basically full. What I like to do is just get the tables full, and then I'll condense and try and stuff more stuff in. Here's like home stuff. We've got kitchen, home decor, a lot of Pottery Barn in this area. Uh, this is a $40 candle. There are a couple more. This is a $40 candle. This is like 30 bucks. For this little marble thing has got a tiny little spoon in it. Um, I mean, look at this. 25 was retail for this little metal tray. 
There's a reason I'm leaving that in the box because if that's not in the box telling someone that's what it costs at Pottery Barn, that's gonna be like a dollar a day item. Uh, smells good over here. These Pottery Barn candles smell good, but I could never justify spending 40 bucks on a candle. At least not one of these little ones. Maybe something like this where it could be like a decorative item afterwards. But, you know, these to me, I don't get why someone would spend 40 bucks. Uh, we get some Dollar General mixed in here, some Amazon. Odds and ends. This, I'm just going to put... Oh, these blankets need to get moved. These three are just going to be filled with socks and underwear. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this one. I was going to throw some shoes in that weren't worth hanging out, but eh. Uh, maybe more socks and underwear, but it's a little high up. Uh, I believe this is about six feet tall, so you're probably talking about five feet right here for small things. Um, some of this stuff will be fine up on top, but we'll figure it out. Worst case, not going to happen during this sale, but another thing that I could do is take two of these uppers off and stack them up to make another one. I don't know, because these look like it was just bins that they made them. You can see there's this. I could even just take these sides off and lower them down. I don't know. Lots of options. But um, I don't remember what I spent on these. 15 bucks each, something like that. The displays, I think they're nice. Over here, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. This was intended for folded clothes, which we've got a good run here. And then I put this up because this stuff is better leaning. But I've got another clothes rack there and no space for it. So I might actually take this table down and put the clothes rack there. And then this front area, this register may be getting a shift to the middle of the wall. And you'll soon see why. If that happens, I might just leave this last bit open uh, just because we like to have especially in the later days of the sale, a bunch of empty boxes here when people have a whole bunch of stuff. We can just box it instead of bag it. And then we'll actually have a separate fixture right here. But you'll have to wait to see what that is. This needs to go in the garbage. It came out of a storage unit and it was missing pieces. So I'm going to have fun throwing that glass in the dumpster. But it's raining out. Look how gross it is out there. That's not a today problem. Um, miter saw stands, I definitely want these displayed from day one because we've got like five different types of miter saws and we could try and upsell people on those. Uh, that's pretty much the sale so far. So I need to fill up this area. I've been leaving this table empty intentionally because Tim was testing on them and drinking his coffee. Um, I've got, so I've got this that needs to be filled up. This will be a little bit more consumables right here. And then that little end of the toy table and that's it. Oh, and home improvement. Let's take a walk over there. Home improvement is a little light. I've still got stuff that I can bring out for that, but definitely fill in some of the gaps. And then that box doesn't go there, so that end of the table too. And then all the tables will be filled up. Special buy, just got to fill in that area in here, and that'll be done. And then that, and we are ready to open. So I got this stuff over here. These are tagged at $39.99. These are going to be 10 bucks each, but they're not tagged yet. These also 10 bucks each. I'm going special buy on these two, even though it's $10 a day, just because we have so many of them, they're not gonna sell out on the $10 days. So I need to get 10 bucks to double my money on them. That's where I'm comfortable. We'll see how they go afterwards. I didn't actually unstack all these. I just tagged all the ones that I could see on the front, sides, and back. There's actually 25 of them in the middle here that are not tagged, so. As they sell through, I'll just have to try and get to them. Um, I was just going to use the manufacturer barcode, but each color is a different barcode. And that's the same issue I'm having with these. However, these I need to pull off to rotate anyways. So I'll probably just tag all of the top ones and then put these back on, tag all of those because you can see it's on a giant cardboard display. So once that layer sells out, I'll just take the cardboard off, tag the next layer. So that is the plan with those. All of this stuff came from Sam's Club. Um, later in the sale, when we're down to like one layer on this, and maybe even two layers, I might lift this onto a stack of pallets just so they're closer, you know, higher up so they're not down on the floor like that. But this section looks really nice. Oh, I also moved that clothes rack over there. I did end up getting rid of that table. And then down here, I added the outdoor tent swing that was on the pallet with those things. Uh, spike ball and three of these Paradise Islands, $84.99 each. Sam's Club is actually selling these for like 70, but I'm going off half of the original retail, which was 170. 
they're selling them cheap just because, well, it was like 60 degrees and rainy today. I don't think anyone's going to the lake anymore this year. I'm just putting them out for now. If they don't sell, then we'll just hang on to them for the summertime. I'm sure they'll sell by summer. And this one's actually a little bit different. I didn't realize. Different colors. I saw the box was a different color. I didn't, I just figured it was a package difference. Anyways, so that's where we're at so far. I still need to do the things that I mentioned on the tables. And this last little bit of special buy area, I've got a Target palette there that we went through and an Amazon palette in the back that we went through, plus the Hamilton Beach over there. Right here is gonna be a palette of outdoor tables that I have in the back. It's a little buried, but I should be able to get to it. And then this is just gonna be bigger stuff sitting on the floor, like some of the tools and whatnot. That's all I'm doing today though. I am gonna go home and relax for the rest of the night. Tomorrow's Monday, so right back at it again tomorrow. I got three days to get this finished up. I'm a little more optimistic now. I got in a zone for a little bit today. So it's the next day and I'm back. I really wish I thought to film what I was doing this morning. Let me show you what I bought today. Look at this. It's pretty much brand new. Apparently, right next door to us was a company that was kind of like DoorDash, but they also sold the products. They didn't just pick them up. Um, what do they call it? Puff something? Puff Good or something like that? Um, they're gone now. But all of the fixtures, which were less than a year old, were being sold off. I paid two grand for this. Got keys to lock it up. Uh, and I literally peeled back the plastic. Can you see up there? There's some. I literally peeled off the plastic today. It's got LED lights inside. I have to scrape these off. Um, but it's 2000 bucks. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to load it up with beverages. I'm just going to use a regular price gun to price them because it's not really a good place to put them on there. So regular price gun, and then I'm going to add them to the system with the barcode, so all we have to do is scan the barcode. This is beverages that came on pallets, but I'm going to have to go buy some because this thing is massive. I was going to put it over here, especially nice because the outlet's right there, so I slid all of this over and put it there, and this walking in was like a hallway. So it's gonna have to go over here, which is unfortunate, but I am hoping we can do about 500 in profit per sale out of this cooler, which is exceptionally important since there's now gonna be very limited space over here for merchandise. Um, it's got lights, it's not plugged in right now because I'm gonna have to put it on an extension cord. And it's not a good idea to put things like this on extension cords. So I'm actually gonna go and spend up on a 12 gauge cord just so I know it's not a fire hazard. And, um, We'll have it loaded up. There'll be some weird stuff like this that you don't typically see for beverages, like on-demand beverages like this. And then I'm gonna go get some cases of water and different sodas and stuff. We'll get it nice and full. As I'm stocking these, I can already tell that I'm gonna need to get some sort of dividers because you reach in and these are gonna get knocked over very easily. I think that ship has sailed for this warehouse sale. Uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it for this one. Look how steamy those get ones left open like that. Um, pretty quick to get these priced and in there. I did 169 for these, 199. Look at how they shake when you open it. That is, yeah, I need to get some sort of beverage. I'm sure they're not expensive, uh, but I'm gonna need something for those. It'd also be nice if they have the springs so it keeps them on the front. The general idea there is 170 each. That flat of 12 I would have sold on $10 day. And the individual bottles maybe on dollar day, but at 170 times 12, that's 20 bucks. So I basically get double what I would have selling them that way. Or I buy a case of 24 Aquafinas for uh, five bucks maybe. And I sell that for 24. The markup on water is insane. I'm excited to see how much I can make on those. So it won't be here in time for the sale, but that's about what I'm looking to buy, something like this. They've got the springs to keep them on the front. At least I think they do. I can't quite tell. Uh, but two of them for 90 bucks, two of them for 100. So somewhere around 50 bucks each is what they'll cost me. This is the type of thing when stores close that I could probably get for free because they get thrown away otherwise. It's a shame spending money on them, but I need them. Otherwise it's gonna be a huge headache and hassle. So it is now Tuesday. We open in two days. Yeah, I've got today and tomorrow to set up. I uh, got this area cleaned up and then put special buy stuff. It's all priced and ready. 
um, over here. We got more stuff priced and ready to go. Some Pottery Barn stuff. I wonder if that's gonna sell. I've got that for 125 bucks. There's a towel rack that goes on the bottom. It's 250 at Pottery Barn. Um, not a whole lot of difference on the tables. I'm gonna be filling that one up in a moment. But over here, this looks nice. I still haven't figured out a way to do the loose shoes, but we've got a whole bunch of these that are boxed. So I'm able to uh, display them nicely here. And then I shifted the bags up. Um, and then over here, started filling these up with socks and underwear. So I'm so angry at myself. A few years ago, I got on a pallet, this weird round, heavy thing. It looks like the base for like a floor fan. It was metal and had some good weight to it. Um, and I held on to it. I figured, you know, maybe I can use it as the base for like a sign or a mannequin or something like that. And that was the plan. And I held on to this for probably three or four years. A few months ago, I was in clean out mode. I had so much stuff in that area. I wanted to get rid of a bunch of it. And this was something that I threw away. I'm never going to use it. If it's been here for like four years, it's never going to get used. Well, I got a fan now, and this is the base. It would have worked perfect. And it was black too, It would have, and this is a really nice fan. So this goes to show you kids, if you're smart, you'll be a hoarder. Don't throw anything away, nothing. Keep all of it, because the second you throw it away, it literally may have been a matter of days or weeks. Uh, this was a few months ago I threw it away, but that came on the truckload that I showed you. It was on the pallet that had my refrigerator that I bought from the company. Um, so it couldn't have been long that the thing was gone, that I needed it. If it was like a year later and I had a need for it, I wouldn't hate myself as much. But we could be talking days. So does anybody have any tips on how I can flatten this out? It's a uh, heavier gauge metal. I can't just grab it and flatten it at all. And given the angle, I don't know if I could really pound it out with a hammer until I, you know, got it to a better angle. So definitely looking for some suggestions here. So filling up this last section of the table, Tim filled this cart from the back and these are definitely not going out. These are, if you remember from the video, those knives. They're not super valuable. I think they're like 15 bucks on Amazon, but they are incredibly sharp. We're just asking for someone to cut themselves. To my knowledge, no one's ever been hurt at this warehouse sale, um, like at, in this building. Definitely not in this warehouse sale because we haven't started it yet. But no one's ever been hurt in this building, uh, like customers or anything. I've been hurt many times, but no customers. And that's what matters. Tim had a whole pallet fall on him. I do a workman's comp claim for that. Anyways, I did have in a previous store of mine store that I own 2016-ish. A uh, customer cut themselves pretty badly. I don't remember on what, I don't even know if I knew on what. I was just walking past the bathroom, door was open, and there was someone washing a large amount of blood off their hands. Little old lady too, felt really bad. Offered to help, she said, no, I'm good. It's possible, maybe she didn't cut herself. She was just, I don't know, on blood thinners and a paper cut reopened or something. She didn't seem upset with us. She didn't want our help, but it happened. And ever since then, I'm paranoid about somebody getting hurt in these sales. So things that are potential to cut you or something like that, I just won't put out. I'm extra paranoid about glass things because something like this could fall. And we've had glass break, a lot of candles. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna move this candle up here. Um, a lot of candles, that might be worse, I don't know. A lot of candles will get knocked off the tables and broken. Typically, this is on the lower dollar days when this place is more of a nightmare. These candles were $40. Oh no, these are Project 62. I, those probably don't need to go out today. The Pottery Barn ones, I'm trying to find one with a price on it to show you. There you go, 40 bucks. Um, those are probably gonna sell on the first day when the garbage people aren't here. We have garbage people every day, but it's not as bad. But stuff will get broken. A dish will get knocked down. It happens every sale. Some piece of glass gets broken. And some customers will try to pick it up because they feel bad. And those customers, I appreciate so much. When you clean up your mess, 
You'd be surprised how many people won't even tell us. We had someone drop a bottle, a glass bottle of balsamic vinegar spilled all over the floor. This whole place was disgusting smelling. Um, and they just walked away. I have no idea who did it. It was before I had security cameras, I think, or I just didn't care to check. Um, and they just walked away, left it there. Now it's a slipping hazard too. But anyways, I'm on a rant here. I feel like I'm in, a, in the middle of a tirade. Um, so people will break something and the nice customers will start picking it up. The problem is I don't want my customers picking up broken glass. I want them to stand there so no one touches it or steps on it or gets hurt and flag one of us down so one of us can do it just in the off chance that someone gets hurt. Yeah, if you drop something that's plastic and break it, please pick it up. But if it's glass, that's something. Anyways, so I'm paranoid with glass that a customer is going to drop something and then cut themselves on it or drop something and not tell anyone about it and some kid gets cut on it or something. I'm always paranoid about that. But anyways, that long-winded rant explains why those knives are not going in this sale. That works, right? So I got this filled up. Literally all that's left for this sale is this little area. I did find the slippers are on these hangers. So, and then this style shoe, little hangers on the back. So I'm hanging slippers and stuff up. Um, but this is looking really nice. I filled in some of the gaps with socks and whatnot, just so it looks a little bit more full um, rather than dumping them in there. Uh, so I just need to fill in the bottom here. The last, is this full? That's full. So the last, what, two feet of this table, and I've got a dump in full of $10 stuff that'll fill this up and more. And then under the tables, if there's space somewhere, I've got, here, let's take a walk. I'll show you what I've got. Oh, I need to get all this put away. This is dishes from Pottery Barn. I'm gonna sell them individually rather than as a set since you can't really see them in these boxes. And I'm probably gonna wait until $7 a day to do that. Um, so anyways, all these Sterilite boxes, looks like two, three, four, five, five Sterilite boxes. These are all plastic boxes with lids, basically new versions of that. So those I wanna get underneath the tables or something, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. Also, these came with the Craig shelves. Oh, let me show you this. So they were designed to go on here. I don't know, spray paint or something, seems like what would fit in there. But I've got two of them, the one I showed you one over here, I'm gonna use them in here for now. It's just a temporary thing. It's ugly, but it'll keep stuff standing up. I closed one of the doors and like seven of these fell over. So that's gonna be really annoying just because they're tall and narrow. I tried these in there and I would have to readjust the shelves height wise. I tried one of these cans in there and it just based on how the wires are, it was like tipping still, but it fits waters nice. So at least we'll have it for some, you know, the Pepsis and the Cokes will probably fit nice in there. So that, that'll be nice. I'll put one down there, I'll have this one, and that's probably gonna be it. Maybe, see, I think the issue with this, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but these shelves, here, you might be able to see it better here. You see how this shelf is lower, they bow down in the center when you put weight on them. I don't know if that the motor or the compressor kicks off whenever you open the door. I don't know why. Anyways, they bow down, which causes it to be at a slight incline and they're more likely to fall. But if this gets closed, look at how much those shake. I slammed it, but probably not as hard as customers will. So I don't know. It might get to a point where I just pull all of those out and say, we're not selling those anymore. Um, or maybe take a shelf out and just put a box full of them in the bottom or something. I don't know. Look how nice this is. Notice, no dents, no dings. We'll see how many dents and dings are on here by the end of the warehouse sale. I was looking at the carton actually. It only touches right here on the glass. But this side here, when you back it in, that is metal on glass, which is a little worrisome. And if you hit it just right, that'll hit the fins. So hopefully this doesn't get too damaged by garbage people. This thing looks so out of place though, doesn't it? It's huge and it's so much nicer than everything else in here. And it's also huge and kind of blocking the window. That's the only logical place to put it though. There's no other place that I can put it. Also, I don't have a 12 gauge cable yet. 
This might be 12 gauge. It's not marked. I'm not comfortable using this, but I'm at least using it to let it get cool. I'm going to unplug it before I leave and I'm going to pick one up at the Home Depot tonight just so this cools down. Um, and it cools down pretty fast. We're down to a little under 40, maybe 38, or according to this, 39. I think it's been plugged in for an hour, maybe. Maybe not even. Anyways, I'm really starting to ramble here because I don't feel like working. If you're a YouTuber, you'll understand. When you don't feel like working, you just sit here and talk on the videos and talk and talk and talk. I'm literally talking about talking to avoid my responsibilities, to avoid my responsibilities. All right, I'm done talking. All right, got all of the stuff off the floor that's not going to be here for the sale. I filled in this area over here. Look how nice this looks. This was my plan for this whole thing with all the loose shoes. Unfortunately, most of them don't have hangers on them. I do like this. So all the shoes that I have that have these little loops, I'm gonna see if I can have something like that made. It's less plastic, therefore probably gonna be cheaper than something like this. And I don't need the labels with the sizes on them. I just want some things so they hang nicely. But anyways, this looks really pretty. It's a shame it's not gonna look like nice like this ever again after we open. Um, so all this left, beverage cooler. I have to get all of the signage up, set up the cash register, and then just clear out that pile of stuff so it's not in the way. Um, I need tags for this tiller and for these, and we're ready to go. That's all that's left. So tomorrow is the last day uh, that we have to get ready. So I'm gonna do all that tomorrow. It's only gonna take a couple of hours. I am gonna run to Costco in a minute to buy all the beverages. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna get advert, do some advertising. We've been advertising leading up to this, but I'm gonna do a little bit more tomorrow and we're pretty much ready to open the rest of the day tomorrow. I'm gonna be in the back sorting those last pallets that never got sorted. I'm excited. I think, I say this every time, I think this is gonna be a good one, but I'm also nervous because I think this has potential to not be a good one. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm at a gas station. I'm gonna do a little market research just to see what different sodas are selling for. And I'm gonna try and put a large bottle of soda in the small slider and see how it looks. So I took a picture of all the soda cases. They didn't have Aquafina or Dasani. They just had like the smart water. I did buy something because I felt weird going in there looking at all the cases of beverages and not getting anything. I'm gonna go to Quick Trip next door and see what their pricing is like. So it looks like regular size, I don't know, what are they, 20 ounce bottles of Aquafina was a buck 79. So we'll probably do that. Buck 79 for Aquafina and Dasani, and then a buck for off brand water, and I got myself a cheeseburger. If you're gonna give me a hard time for eating gas station cheeseburgers, you've never been to Quick Trip. So Fiji water, less than a dollar each. The gas station was selling these for $3.29 each. I also got Ice Mountain for the off-brand water. That way it doesn't have a store's name on it. These were $1.89 at the gas station. We're under a buck each. They didn't have these at the gas station. And I don't know what they cost here, but I'm going to grab one. Um, I don't know, maybe $0.99 cents each. These are about 50 cents each. They were $1.59. These are a little over a dollar each. They are a little under three, I think, at the gas station. $2.49 at the gas station. $13.99 for 15 of them. I don't know which vitamin water do I want? They're both the same price, a little under a dollar each. We've got that's right, these don't have flavors. They have what they're supposedly giving you. Um, let's go with these. I like the colors better. This cart is getting very heavy. All right, I still haven't gotten the Coke or the Pepsi. We've got, let's see, just regular Gatorade right here. Uh, 24 of them for $16.69. So this is what, like 75, 69 and a half cents each. 
They actually weren't priced at the gas station, but the power rate was $1.99. So I'm gonna grab one of these. $3.59 at the gas station, or like a buck 41 each. And these are the sugar-free ones. I don't see any of the other ones, but those were about $3.50 also. Buck 41 each. So we're finally to the Coke and Pepsi, but all I see are cans. So I might have to go to Sam's, but I am gonna grab some of this Mexican Coke. My cart is getting way too heavy to push around through the aisles, so I'm just leaving it at the end. Pretty much all we're looking for now is Pepsi and Coke, which I don't see it in bottles. And we're out of the beverages, unless you call this beverage. So I guess we're gonna check another store, but this has to be the heaviest cart I have ever pushed. Boy, was that a workout. And 400 hours later, I still don't have Coke or Pepsi or Aquafina or Dasani. The four main ones that I was going to get, four out of five, I was going to get those four and just off-brand water. Uh, what was that water? Ice Mountain, Ice Mountain, Ice Mountain. I don't... $7.69. I'm assuming that's for two of them, like two packs, because I only see it on here. Wow, no, it's $7.69 each. Ooh, that's expensive for 28 of them. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're all purchased there. That'll be a tax write-off. I am exhausted. Those were heavy. I struggled to push that cart towards the end. All right, I'm going to go drop these off at the warehouse because I don't know how much more weight this car can handle. And, um... Might be a little late to stop at uh, Sam's. I'll have to check their hours. Look at that though, sun's low in the sky. You can see it through multiple vehicles. So I didn't show you everything. There were a couple of things that I just grabbed without filming and I don't remember what, what, what it was, but um, I'm not sure the Starbucks Frappuccino, I don't think I showed, I don't think I showed the hint Maybe the ba ba ba. Um, so my wish list, I'm gonna race over to Sam's. I'll probably get there about 40 minutes before they close. I want Coke, Pepsi, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Aquafina, Dasani. I'd like to have regular Red Bull because I just said the sugar free. And maybe a white soda like 7-Up or Sprite or Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew would be a good one, I think. Um, I don't know if Mountain Dew is considered a white soda, but you get the idea. And then I think we're good. Um, two of these will probably be a shelf. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got about eight shelves worth here, which is a side of a shelf. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I should be able to load all of this in. Still keep that and the little bit that I have here and probably have one little section left. So we're probably going to be back stocking some of this. Um, also, the stuff in flats, I might just put the whole flat in there rather than try and stack it on there. I'm exhausted still. Although, it's not really still. I had to load this out of the car. We're at 34 degrees in here, and I, I don't honestly know what it's set for. Although, that says 30. So either this is a little off, or that's a little off, or maybe this is colder because it's closer to the fans. Um, hopefully this stuff doesn't freeze. I can't imagine it's going to freeze. Usually if it gets close and you shake it, it'll freeze. So I'm thinking this is probably a little off. All right. Otherwise I'll have to figure out how to reset that. It's not as simple as pushing the up and down button. We're going to have this thing loaded up though. I mean, 400 bucks. I'm going to do more than double my money because these were seven and I should get 28. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm getting probably more than double. I mean, a lot of these are like 60, 70, 80 cents and I'm selling them for two bucks. So a little over double of this 400, I would guess no math, just a total guess. I'll probably profit maybe six or 700, uh, which would be about a thousand or 1100 bucks for all of this, which six or 700 bucks. There's a quarter of the way, over a quarter of the way to paying for this cooler. Of course, I think there's some of these that I might need to restock. And I don't know. I'm just kind of taking guesses here. But each one will have its own skew in the system. So after the sale's over, I'll be able to go through and see what sold better than what. 
I'll be able to say, yeah, we didn't sell a lot of Monster, but we sold a ton of Bang or something like that. Gatorade did really well, vitamin water not so much. Or something. So I'm just trying to kind of guess the market here and um, I'll be able to go back and look later. Also seven, what did I say, 729 for 28 bottles. I can get 24 bottles, unless these are bigger. Are these bigger? Oh, these are 20 ounce bottles. These are actually bigger than the ones that I get. Um, I feel like I'm better off getting the 17 and 16.9 ounce bottles. There's 24 of them for like three-ish, 350, four bucks. It's less water, but I feel like it's easier to sell those for a dollar than these for a dollar 50. And selling them, I'll probably sell them for a dollar, but you get the idea. Uh, these, oh, these are individually wrapped too. Um, well, I don't know. I will be adding each item into the system and using the manufacturer barcode to price it uh, or to be able to scan it. And hopefully, this is the one that I'm really worried about that might not have a barcode. Oh, yeah, we do. So that's what we'll do. We'll just use the barcode. If for some reason something on here doesn't have a barcode, then I'm just going to have to um, make one. Or if two items have the same barcode for some reason, maybe the two different flavors of Monster or something. Of course, then like the Gatorades, these there's three flavors here. That may be three separate barcodes. I don't know. Um, although that will help me gauge which flavor sells better, I suppose. There's no blue though. So maybe if I see some, another pack in the at Sam's with blue Gatorade, I'll grab it. All right, I gotta go. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get over there before they close. Well, I haven't seen any Pepsi yet, but here's the Coke. So we've got these, they're $1.92 each though. Don't know if I want them for that. I think I'll hold off. I noticed the prices on this stuff is a, are a lot higher here. So Costco had this, they did not have the sweetened version, so I'm gonna grab one of these too. So this is the exact same thing I got at Costco. It was $27.69 there, almost a whole $10 cheaper, um, which across 24 cans is like, what, 40 cents cheaper, which is gonna add up. So I'm thinking I'll be buying everything that I can at Costco. I've noticed this in a whole bunch of stuff. If I can get it at Costco, I'm gonna get it at Costco, otherwise I'll get it here. I would love to get some regular Red Bull. But look at that, $3 per can. I, that's what I would sell it for. I can't justify that. Might grab one of these just to have the blue flavor because this is 60, about 70 cents each at 16, 68. I might grab some orange juice too, uh, 63 cents each. Probably go like a buck 50 or something on them. They're smaller. Still not seeing Dasani, Aquafina, or Pepsi at all here. There were cans of Pepsi, but that's all I'm seeing. So here we've got the cans, but you would think it'd be next to it, but the Coke bottles are there and the Coke cans are over there. So that means they're not necessarily next to each other. So I talked to an employee, she said they only have canned Pepsi products. So I'm thinking I'm gonna run to the grocery store and get the six packs which is gonna suck because I'll have to break them all apart. But I feel like that's better than having bottles of one product and cans of another. Here's the Aquafina. Look at this. This is cheaper than, well, yeah, Aquafina. This is cheaper than the, um, the Ice Mountain. Yeah, that Ice Mountain was a bad call. And you know, I could get like this Members Mark brand. I don't see any Dasani. But that's okay, at least we have one of them, plus we get the Fiji water. I was thinking about grabbing some of the smart water, but it's, um, I think they're too tall for the cooler. I know a lot of people like smart water, it comes up to $1.14 each, and I should be able to get like three bucks for these big ones, based on what the gas stations are. I think these are gonna be way too tall for the cooler, I don't think they're gonna fit. So we filled up another cart, and then I gotta run next door to Festival Foods to see if I can find Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Mountain Dew, possibly Dasani water, and I think that'll do it for us. I wonder if I should get snacks. 60 packs for 13.98 is only 23 cents per unit. Um, I don't know. I feel like it might be worth grabbing a couple boxes or something. Here, these are 50 cents a unit. Uh, these, 
72 cents per unit, about 50 cents a unit, 54 cents a unit. Maybe I'll grab a couple. Another 200 bucks later, that puts me up to 600. Leaving a store, just spending hundreds of dollars on merchandise in the middle of the night like this. Not middle of the night, but it is dark. Really brings me back to the old retail arbitrage days. I bet the snacks are gonna do well. At least I hope they do, because the three that I got not, don't look appetizing to me at all. But I'm gonna turn this volume down. Um, I've actually got some similar sized snacks, uh, some yogurt covered pretzels, and then one other product, I don't remember, I think mixed nuts or something, from a CVS palette in volume that I was gonna do a dollar each you know, impulse section. But it's too late for this now, but for the next and future sales, I might do something similar to how I'm doing the beverages, where I'll get some sort of display and um, just price them all individually at the register area and use the barcodes. Not gonna do that in this sale, it's too late. I don't have time to get it all set up and find a display stand, but maybe a future sale. I really wish so the, the the cash register stands that I have, these, those came out of the print section of Office Depot when they closed. And I had the choice between those ones or some that had like shelves in the front and they had probably snacks and stuff on those. And I chose the ones without the shelves because I figured I wouldn't need them. They'd look weird sitting empty and they probably would have for a while, but that would have been a great place to put snacks. All right, right next door is Festival Foods, the local grocery store chain. I'm gonna, I'm a little full here, um, but I'm gonna try and get Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and Mountain Dew, and I think that's where I'm gonna cut it. As far as beverages are concerned, I can't imagine there's anything, you know, you don't get amazing deals here. They're probably gonna be six packs and a whole bunch of them, and I'm gonna have to break them out of the little uh, turtle necklaces. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Well, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to call it for the night because it is after 8 o'clock. It's five minutes after 8. And I'm tired. I've been lifting a lot of liquids. So Sam's Club is right down there, about two blocks or so. Oh boy, the design is expensive here. But we'll try it out, just see how it goes. I'm going to grab that. Six bottles for $11.99. See, that's quite a bit more than it was in the store. I'm going to grab just one case of Dasani. I want to see which one sells better. This would have been a good one to have in the sale. $4.99. And it's not a store brand. And it's got the Packers logo on it. Um, all right. Bottled Pepsi. And this is... What size are these? 16.9. So that's the same size. I feel like these are more narrow and taller than the others. But I don't think I get many options. So five bucks for six of them. That's a little under a dollar each. I'm gonna grab a whole heap of these, a whole heap of these, and a whole heap of these. And I did verify 16.9 ounces is what they had, is what I bought in the Pepsi, or in the Coke products. I don't think I'm gonna mess with any of the other ones, just Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Mountain Dew. So I grabbed 48 of each of the three, uh, which is eight six packs. And then the one thing of Dasani down there. She made me take each one out and she stickered every single one. And they don't come off easy. And that's a grand total. This was 133, so about 700 bucks worth of beverages. 730 some odd dollars. I'm happy with that. And I'm willing to bet before the end of the sale, I'll have to go back to a store and restock something. Um, but that's probably also going to be something that I'm way overstocked on. But we'll see how stuff sells, and I'll be able to make my purchasing decisions based off of this sale for the next one. I feel like it's still going to be pretty warm out. It's going to be in the mid to high 70s. Um, I don't know how many are going to sell in the next sale because it's going to be freezing cold. But the follow, you know, once we get back into the summer sales, I think cold beverages are going to do really well. We'll see how they do now. All right, so three stores, a grand total of $733.16. So the cooler is loaded up with 40 different beverages. 
Got more over there. I'm in here with one of each, adding them to the system here. Uh, they're all priced out. All of them have unique barcodes, even across different flavors, except Aquafina does not have a barcode. So what I'm doing, since they're already in the cooler rather than making barcodes, is I'm literally just putting one of these on each cash register and they can, they can scan that if someone buys an Aquafina. Easy enough. So there are 40 different SKUs in here. Um, most of them I'm making between 70 cents and a buck 30, I would estimate. Uh, it's about it. There are a couple of SKUs that just didn't fit in the cooler because I had some like this and these that were already here earlier. They came on, I think, a CVS palette or something. So we're retailing those in there. It looks really pretty. Let me show you. Well, I went and printed 183 labels for these. I only did the top two layers because there's a big piece of cardboard separating them. So I'll do the next two layers out of here once the top's sold. Look at how pretty this looks. These wouldn't stand up in there. So good call on the smart water, not fitting. Um, I also forgot to tag the Coke and Pepsi so that I'm just gonna put some sort of label on the bottom of the shelf. I had them all loaded in, all excited before I realized I never put a price tag on them. But uh, we've got a good assortment here. So we're basically all set up now. I've got signs up. I'm trying to think if there's anything left that I need to do before I go home. We've got impulse items here, dollar, two dollars. These are the snacks. So these came on pallets and uh, Tim must not have put them out. There were mixed nuts that were on pallets. And then you saw I got these, these, and those at cost, uh, Sam's. We'll see if they sell for a dollar each. I might try and find a display where I can hang them up, kind of like a, by the checkout counter. Um, because you can see they've got the little eyelet there that you can punch through. And those came on a pallet. These don't have the eyelet, but maybe we can find some sort of clip system or shelf system, or I'll just get a hole punch and put a hole in them. Um, that's not going to be this sale though. This will be a future sale. And then we'll do something similar to this where their price is marked. And then we use the barcode. And the reason for that, do these have barcodes? They do. The reason for that is because, you know, these cost me 50 cents each. So a dollar doubles my money. These cost me like 20, what was it? 28 cents, something like that. So I could sell them for 69 cents, 79 cents. And then maybe I find something like these. There's no way I'm getting these cheap enough where I could sell them for a dollar. So I would instead have to have them at a buck fifty or two bucks or something like that but that's for another sale uh what else i put these out last minute i've got three pallets of these this is one pallet very small the other two pallets are taller than me uh, these were a gift that i got for free from uh, one of my customers he has a store down in sheboygan if you're in the area check out sheboygan discount warehouse he had about a billion of these so he just sent these to me uh, didn't charge me anything for them. So we'll see if they'll sell at five. I don't know, it's kind of late in the year. Um, we've got this all set up. We're down to 48 degrees. So it's cooling down at a reasonable pace. All of this room temperature soda, plus leaving the doors open while I was pricing and stocking it, pretty much rose the temperature up to room temperature. Um, and then it's gotta cool all that liquid down. So by tomorrow, it should be nice and cold. I put these on. What I'm gonna do is have vinyl decals that go across the top, custom made. Um, they're probably gonna be like 20 bucks for both of them, 20 or 30 bucks. It's not gonna be much. Um, <clears throat> that might even be super high. They might be like five bucks, I don't know. Uh, but it's just gonna go across the top. It's gonna be somewhat translucent. It's going to be like a vinyl decal that'll easily peel off one day when I sell it. And it'll say just like that cold beverages price is marked. I also need, and before bag day, I'll need to put something on there saying these are not part of bag day. I do have the keys here, so I can lock this if I want, but I'd like to still sell them on the last day. I don't know, we'll play that by ear. Um, I realized this end of this table was empty the whole time, so I added some Halloween stuff. Um, these leather jackets, I'm curious to see how well they'll do. They, we couldn't sell any of them on eBay. They're Ellen DeGeneres is the, the name on it, EV1. So that could be why no one's buying them. They are pleather, or I think they call them vegan leather. That's what they call them these days. Uh, pleather is what I grew up with. Here, I put these signs up. Um, over here, I put these on each of those. 
uh, as well as those so you can see the difference in price on shoes i covered all the barcas except this one this one's a heck of a deal but there's no really real good way to differentiate that these stickers can come off there's no real way to differentiate this from the other kids shoes so people are just getting a really good deal on those up here the hamilton beach they've not been tested or inspected ten dollars each and i'm praying that if people open these they'll put them back in the boxes i know i might as well pray to win the lottery that's more likely to happen I'll probably win the mega of millions 10 times before all of the customers can keep their area clean and don't make a mess of this area um, these Tim must have put here because they were special buy and there's some sort of issue. But I don't see anything written on them. It's heavy, so it's not like it's missing the crock. Oh, you know what? I'll bet it was. These were probably just too cheap. $29.92, that's why. So those were 30 in the store. I'm not going to special buy them for $15. Uh, I got signs up on these. What else? I'm going to quick throw these away. Uh, that didn't even make it in. So all the signs are up. We're ready to go. We've got back stock here for the beverages. Uh, case of Coke and Diet Coke. Case of Aquafina, Ice Mountain. And I overbought on those because I figured they'd do well. An extra case of these. I did not get the Mexican Coke out. Didn't have room. As well as the Hint and the Buy Water. Didn't have room. And this is just extra of what's already out. And then all of this is extra of what's already out as well. So we can restock from that. Get the price gun in here. Most of it, I think that flat. In fact, just the monsters might be the only thing that's priced already. Everything else will have to add price tags to them. If I didn't have that stuff that came on pallets, then I would have fit it all. That, that's what I'm telling myself. So we're just about ready. We've got some Halloween stuff here and there's another cart. I think I put it back over there somewhere, but ready to go out as tables clear off. I'm thinking I'm just going to snap some pictures and uh, post some ads on Facebook and whatnot. The final ads, we open tomorrow, 9 a.m. Signs, carts, everything are right here, ready to put out in the morning. I put the $10 insert in here. If you didn't see the last sale, the videos of the last sale, this is new. And these, the metal frames just pop right out. I've got extras with the different price points. So we're ready to go. I got everything. Oh, I didn't actually update the cash register. So let me show you in case you have square. Everyone always asks what cash register, what system I'm using. Uh, let's go to the checkout screen. So this is what it looks like. I am going to get rid of these because we don't need those. We don't have those right now. So here we've got, uh, there's a whole list here. Um, let's see. Light up items towels there we go set of kitchen towels snack and i just picked out random pictures to put on there uh here we've got shoes we got kids shoes and adult shoes you can see those are the boring ones that i wear in fact see that picture they're not as nice. They're wearing them for a while, but it's the same shoe. I wear the boring adult shoes. All right, now over here, I'm gonna put, again, we got, I used to be able to just scroll down, but now all, everything, special buy and everything's in here. So, go back to the top. Planters, clay planter. Is there anything else? Socks and underwear. Yonder, yeah, that's what I'm trying to spell. Under britches, socks and underwear. All right, that should be everything. So now this is our screen. So general merchandise, apparel, oh, apparel should be, hold on. See if I can change it from here. All right, well, I'll have to change the price, but apparel is gonna be 10. Socks and underwear, five. Shoes three, shoes five, light up items a dollar, kitchen towels two, snacks a dollar, clay planters five, and then here, more uh, items, apparel. Uh, we're going to change the price here to 10, save, and then. 
don't know what. Oh, there we go. Close that. Uh, so that's all. Of, and we can sort by categories. I've got beverages, general, and special buy. I don't have any modifiers, discounts, options, or units. Um, and then we'll go in here. And then in the off chance that there's something that's a different price, we just use the keypad. But then we've got a barcode scanner. This will be all, the, you can't even see it. This will be all the special buy items. Um, since Aquafina doesn't have a barcode, we just scan it here. Everything else will be scanning the barcodes on the items there or the green barcodes that we put on the special buy stuff. And it's that simple. So I was going to do a little bit of talking head video, but I'm going to have to end this one now. Um, I just got a Red Cross call. People asked what I mentioned in a previous video when I mentioned that. I work for the Red Cross as a volunteer. If there's a fire, I go there. Um, so anyways, I have to go. There was a fire. So hope you enjoyed this video. The next video and the following video will be the rest. Well, not the rest. Will be the sale. First half and second half of the sale. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.